Welcome back to the greatest show of all time, 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm, of course, your host, Aaron, and today we have a spectacular treat for you as we are going to go through some Funko Pops. But before we get into that, can you look at this? I finally, finally was able to cast my video camera to my screen. Now everything looks fantastic. So you let me know in the comments what you think, and let's just start going with 8 Minutes with Aaron. Now, a couple months back, there was the uh, Comic-Con event, which I can't really remember. I think it was the New York Comic-Con, because it was around the winter time, and I do remember them releasing a variety of Funko Pops. So they had two separate events. Uh, one was with the New York Comic-Con, where people were able to get the official sticker Funko Pops, and then they released them a couple months later for Hot Topic and Box Lunch and other stores that are associated with Funko Pops. So I went to the mall, of course, and I met some people online, blah, blah, blah. And I never showed you the Funko Pops. Why? Well, they kind of got put to the side, and then, you know, the new year came. I went to hijinks. I got a new phone. Things just happened. So you know what? We're just going to go over them now. All right? So let's just do it. So getting into things right off, we're going to pull out the sexy Ned Flanders. Now you remember Ned Flanders from The Simpsons, of course, and this was the red suit. And I will show you a clip because it is a classic clip. And then of course you had Homer who could think nothing but sexy Flanders. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders. Uh, now, I'm going to take this out of the box because I want to get a closer look. I'm going to actually start from the bottom since our last video, the Britney Spears Funko Pop, came out pretty quick on the bottom. Oh, look at that. Bottom poppage. Uh, and the hot topic that I did go to, and they did switch up the rules because I was able to get two of any Funko that I wanted from the convention, and then the next time I went for the shoes and all, it was only one per person. All right, this is giving me a little trouble. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> now, from the outside of the box, I do know that, you know, the Simpsons characters, whoa, are yellow, but the box on the front, it, it kind of gives me the optical illusion that it could glow in the dark. I know it's not a glow in the dark Funko Pop. And it is from the 2021 Fall Convention. So I'm safely assuming that was a New York Comic Con. All right. We're going to pop this back in so we don't damage the box. We'll put him right here. And I will hold him out for you guys. Oh my god, can you Im Yeah, this would be pretty sick if the visor actually came down. It still is a really good Funko Pop. And I really like how they did the detail on this. You know, his eyes are closed. He's got the ski equipment on. He's getting ready to go downhill. I think they did a great job on this Funko Pop. I like the thickness of his glasses. You know, the feel of him, it feels really smooth and slick. Sort of like he's wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So yeah, props to this from Hot Topic. Yeah, okay, I guess it's not an exclusive from Hot Topic, but props, props Funko. I believe this is one of the few Simpsons Funko Pops that I really liked. And this is neat. I like the detail, like I said. And we're just going to prop him right up here. Does he... Look at that, everyone. He stands on his own. And I'll show you the back of this. Uh, these are some of the other Funko Pops that did come out recently that I did acquire. And I did show you on another video. You can find it down on the playlist. Uh, all right, he's going to show right next to Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'll put this behind here. And I guess we're going to pull out one more out of this bag of uh, tricks here. And we're going to pull out... Oh, it is a My Hero Academia 2021 Fall Convention, uh, Tetsuya Asui? Uh, yeah, let's, let, let's go with that. And I do know that the ability of this character is able to go invisible, and I believe it's a froggish form, or that's the ability that the character has. I'm really not 100% sure. I did see um, the character fight a few times on My Hero Academia and the English version. I do watch, you know, a lot of my anime and sub, 
but I think I caught it at, uh, at work with Justin. We were watching a replay and I really didn't know who the character was. And then did some of these cool frog abilities. And I think the, the, the tongue can extend and like, do a I, I, I don't know. I really don't know the character that well, but I do know this. We're gonna take it out and take a closer look because it looks neat. And does it glow in the dark? Hmm, I don't know. I don't think it glows in the dark. It would have stayed it on the box, right? Yeah, it would have stayed it on the box. All right, so let's pop this puppy open. Uh, now, I know you guys know that I rag on My Hero Academia a lot, and I do need to mention I do read the magnet, and it hasn't gotten any better. They're going through another training arc. Enough with the training arc. I can't get it open from the bottom. Let's, let's try it up this time. <laughs> All right, this isn't working very well. Oh, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go, everyone. It's all good. We got it open. Yeah. All right, just, just fly out of here. Fly! All right, so it does have a stand, so I'm going to guess it doesn't stand on its own. And, hmm, I don't know what to tell you guys. I do, or I have seen a few of the prototypes of Funko Pops, and they are a lot of different colors. Some of them are like black and yellow, red, green, blue, all the colors of the rainbow. And this one is clear. So I would not be surprised at all how simple this one was to make. And just to guess, you get a clear mold, toss this bad boy in, it toss a light blue paint on the face, and bada bing, bada boom, it's done. You know, I'll twirl it around. I'm not sure if they have a colored version, you know, you know, color version of like they think of this, that kind of color version uh, of Tetsu Asasayu. Butchering the name, I apologize. Don't you know? I, I try, I try my hardest. I don't. <laughs> I try my hardest. Uh, but you know, it has some weight. Uh, does it stand on its own? Stands on its own. We always like that. And I might just give this to Justin at my work. I, I'm not a big fan of My Hero Academia. He may enjoy this a lot more than I would. So I would have to say that between the Netflanders and the Tatsuya Asayu, I will go with the Netflanders. So Netflanders, I am going to give you a thumbs up or an up. And uh, Tatsuya, I'm, nah, I'm going to have to give you a, a thumbs down or a down, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's okay, but it's just a little simple, a little basic. Maybe if I understood the character a little bit more and the abilities that they possessed, or I liked My Hero Academia as much as I like you know, The Simpsons, eh, could have changed my opinion. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me for 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, write down in the comments. I will get back to you. Don't worry about it. I have plenty of time after, you know, I get home from work after the long drive. I will see you next time. Be safe out there. See you later. Bye.